In today's Madden 22 video, we're going to be going over a two part blitz setup. If you enjoyed this content and you like what you see, drop a like on the video. Don't be a hater your whole life. Hit that red subscribe button. Join the fam. Road to 10K. If you want to go more in depth, my link in the description and the pinned comment in the comment section has the ebooks and the Patreon. I just updated a fire, disgusting offensive breakdown on the Patreon and in the ebooks. And I also gave one of my subscribers a full custom scheme. So hit that subscribe button and make sure you stay tuned. What's up everybody? If you wanna take your Madden 22 game into the next level, the link in the description has my eBooks and every eBook that you get gets a free upgrade for four months. I repeat, free upgrades for four months. Let's get it. Today we're gonna to be going over the nickel 245 out of the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. Now. My audibles that I like to have is the cover six invert is one of my base plays. But if you want to get aggressive and they are not blocking their running back, you can use Tampa two or the cover two sink. And I'm going to show you how to set these up so you can have the Tampa two or the cover two sink. We're going to go not blocking the running back and then blocking a running back. So Tampa two, and we're just gonna come out in like a gun bunch type of play. What you wanna do if they are not blocking the running back and you wanna catch them off guard is you wanna pinch your entire team, which is R1 or RB, and then left stick down to pinch. Then you wanna crash your line down. So right stick down is slanted side. So you're gonna push the D pad to the left. That's gonna pull up your defensive lineman. And then you're gonna crash down. From there, you wanna push Y or triangle two times. That LB is your cornerback. You wanna blitz him. And then you wanna take your guy and just stand right behind this guy right here. So the blitz angle is through that loop. I also like the pass commit. And if they are not blocking the running back, you're gonna see super fast pressure now once he hikes the ball hit the left trigger real quick and then run out to guard somebody so we're going to come right here he hikes the ball we're going to hit the left trigger for a quick second and you can see super fast looping blitz everything needs more than two seconds to develop so when you look at this replay as soon as he hikes the ball i push the left trigger you can see me strafe and now i'm going to take off to one of these guys boom before he can even get the pass off we got an easy, super fast sec. Look at that, right around, super fast. Everything goes is guarded. I can't set the zone drops in practice mode, but if you want the full breakdown, my eBooks and my Patreons will have how to disguise these blitzes and have the entire field locked down as far as the zone drops. So we're gonna go through this again. So we're gonna pinch the entire team. We're gonna crash down, blitz your user. We're gonna blitz the LB, and then we're gonna guess pass. That is so important. Bring him a couple steps right here. Let go of the controller. Now I'm gonna hit left trigger just to hold him for a quick second and super, super fast. This is the computer. I am not using two controllers. So that lets you know how fast the blitz is. I didn't make any adjustments to the personnel. Soon as he hikes the ball, right there, you're gonna see, hold the left trigger. Now I'm gonna run off and take a route. Super fast blitz, nobody's coming. Now, if you want good block shed defense when they are blocking the running back, I'm gonna show you that in a second. So we're gonna go through this one more time. We're gonna pinch the entire team. We're gonna crash down, blitz him, blitz him, and we're gonna do it. Practice this so you can get the setup super fast like me. We're gonna stay right here. You wanna get the attention of number 72. So when he hikes it, I push the strafe and then get 72 to roll out and it's gonna help him come around and you can see Sherman jumped up and yanked it. So we're gonna set it up real fast. So pinch, crash down, blitz, blitz user, and then pass commit, okay? So I'm gonna put it on the screen so you can see. We stay right here, and we're trying to get the attention of number 72 to come out for a second. That time it was slowed down, but we got great defense in the background with no zone drops. Let's set it up again. So we're gonna pinch defense, crash down, blitz, blitz, and we're gonna bring them. Make sure you got your user right behind this guy so he can come down first step in the blitz angle and bring that guy's attention, and there's the blitz. So where you stand at is very important. So we're gonna come out in the cover two, 
or we're going to audible if they are blocking the running back. So if we come out into a play like dig return where they are blocking the running back and we're going to disguise it. So we're going to go into cover six invert. So what we're going to do is we're going to spread our line. We're going to crash down. We're going to press. We're going to globally blitz LB and put B into a cloud. And now we're going to stand right here. OK, make sure that you guess pass. And now we got a matching concept going across the field with nice block share set up. So nothing's open. He tries to roll out. The entire field is boxed down. Gave him an entirely different look. So here we go. Boom. We know that he's blocking the running back. He's trying to pass still. Now we're going to go like this. Stay right there. Everybody is picked up right there, okay? So now we're going to have the block shares happen. Everything is boxed up. Look at this. It's matching concepts on that cover six. So we dropped him into a cloud. So he's going to stay over there. He's going to have to hit that route super fast. That's not the route he was looking for. Everything else is matched across the field, and we get a coverage sack. So with the cover six invert, you can also get super aggressive. So you can shift your line left, bring him in, bring him in, press, set it up like this. Now you got a lot of people in the front right here. You got all these people in the front. You got matching concepts to the outside. So drop back and look for the first route. Pass commit, look for the first route that might come open. I like to come over here just to overflow it, make somebody pick me up right here and boom. You got two people coming in plus the cornerback. Nobody's going to get a chance to get open. It's going to be matching concepts. So we're going to do that again. We're going to go to cover six invert. We're going to blitz the linebackers. And then we're going to shift over. That's going to bring them in the box. Drop him back. Blitz him. Get a uh, guest pass. He's going to be blocking a lot of people right here. He can't run it. We overflowed over there. We're going to come over here. And that guy's coming in. That guy's coming in. Super overload, especially if they have a long down distance. So let's do it again. We're going to go to cover six invert. We're going to globally blitz all linebackers. Shift line. That's going to bring these people into the box. Now we're going to aggressively blitz him. Drop him into a blue. Guest pass. And when we hike the ball, we're going to take off toward the running back. So he's going to hike the ball. We're going to go to the left a little bit. Overload. Super fast blitz. If you want the full breakdown, the Patreon in the ebooks is going to be there to help you out. So we're going to globally blitz all linebackers. We're going to shift to the left. We're going to pinch, get all of them in the box, blitz him, put him into a blue. Play is looking like that. Blitz everybody, put him into a blue. We got matching concepts on the back, and we're going to run to the left. Run to the left, pick up a person. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go.